So if you're taking any sort of algebra course, you definitely need to be able to do a problem like this. And the question here is simplify this radical expression. So that's all I'm going to tell you here because I want to give you a full opportunity for you to be able to solve this all on your own. And if you know how to do this, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. And then I'm going to walk through this step by step. And I'm actually going to show you two approaches to do this problem. But again, if you're at that algebra one level or beyond, or that first year algebra level or beyond, you absolutely need to be able to do a problem like this. All right, so let's go ahead and get into how we do this right now. So I'm going to uh, approach this in two different ways. So here is our problem. So I've got the square root of 28 times a to the fourth times b to the fifth. The first way I'm going to approach this is this way. Okay, you need to know uh, something called rational exponents, right? In other words, the square root of something is the same thing as taking whatever that is to the one half power, right? If I wanted to know the cube root of eight, that's the same thing as taking eight to the one third power. So this is a whole separate uh, subject in and of itself, radical expressions. You just need to know that when you take the square root of something, that's the same as taking whatever you um, are looking to take the square root of to the one half power. So let me just kind of go back here and show you this one property of exponents. You need to know a to the m to the n is equal to a to the m times n. So when you have an outside power to an inside power, okay, an outside exponent to an inside exponent, you simply just multiply those exponents together. Let's take a look at a super simple example so you never forget this. If you want to find the square root of 4, okay, well, let's think of 4 as a power. Let's think of 4 as 2 squared. So now we're going to find the square root of 2 squared. Now, the square root of 4, of course, is what? 2, all right? Well, now let's just think of 4 as 2 squared. So the square root of 2 squared is what? Well, that's going to be the same as taking uh, 4 or 2 squared to the 1 half power. So now when I take this 1 half and I multiply it by 2, because that's that property I just showed you there, a to the m to the n, we just multiply, uh, distribute um, these uh, exponents. I'm going to have a to the m times n, or 1 half times 2 is what? 1 or two to the first, so two squared to the one half power, i.e. four uh, to the one half power, or the square root of four is what, two to the first or two, okay? So I just kind of wanted to show you in very, you know, uh, you know, strict terms here that this works, okay? You need to know this, right? And hopefully you did know that, and uh, this reinforces that, um, you know, knowledge in your brain. But let's go ahead and get into this problem now. So the first approach I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and then take it to the one half power, right? I'm gonna take the square root. I'm gonna write that as a rational exponent to the one half power. And now I'm gonna be saying to myself, okay, I am going to be distributing this one half power to all these things inside, right? So this is 20 to the first, that, 20, that one half will be multiplied by that. This one half will be multiplied by that uh, four, all these exponents here, and this one half will be multiplied by five. So when I'm multiplying, I'm gonna be multiplying again uh, by this one half, right? So what I wanna do is set myself up for success, and I'm gonna look at this 28. I write 28 as seven times four. And now I have a to the fourth, I'm gonna write it that way, and I'm gonna uh, talk about this b to the fifth right now. I'm gonna write b to the fifth as b to the fourth times b to the first, because this one half, right, here, let's take a look at this. If I have b to the fourth to the one half power, let me erase this right here. This is, this is the part where it confuses a lot of students. So b to the fourth to the one half power. I'm gonna end up uh, dividing by two. In other words, when I multiply, this is going to be uh, b to the 4 over 1 times 1 over 2, or 4 over 2, right? So which that, of course, 4 over 2 will be 2. So that would be b uh, squared, right? So b to the 4th to the 1 half power is b squared. But I'm dividing by 2. So if I have b to the 5th, I'm going to kind of run into some uh, problems here, but it's going to be a little confusing. So b to the 5th to the 1 half is going to be b to the 5 over 2. So that may not, you know, uh, 
you know, that, that could be a little confusing for some of you, especially if we want to write our final answer in terms of a radical. And I should have kind of clarified that, hey, make sure you use a radical in your final answer because this is okay, but we still want to kind of translate this back into a radical. And a lot of students get con, uh, confused with this, right? We're like, well, you know, I want to, you know, is a B to the 2.5? No, we want to break this up. Because we know we're going to be dividing by 2, what we want to do is take this b to the fifth and just break it up in this way. So we're going to have b to the fourth times b to the first. This is still uh, b to the fifth because when we're multiplying the same bases, we're going to add the exponent, so that's going to be 5, okay? So I'm kind of breaking these up because it's going to make my uh, life easier at the end, all right? So I'm going to show you another approach to do this problem in a second. So again, you know, uh, this could be a little bit confusing to some of you out there, but let's go ahead and continue on. All right, so now um, I know why, you know, hope I know why, I'm going to make sure you know why, why I wrote this b to the fifth as b to the fourth times b to the first. So now I'm going to take this one half and I'll multiply it by seven, right? So that's going to give me seven to the one half, or actually, let me do that work right there. One half times seven to the first is seven to the one half which is the same thing as the square root of seven. But we'll get to that in a second. One half times two squared, which is four, right? So I'm gonna write this four as two squared, is what? Two to the first, so that's what that is. And then I have one half times a to the fourth. Hopefully you can see that's a squared, but let's just make sure you understand right here, a to the fourth, two to the one half is a squared. All right, so now we have one half times b to the fourth is b squared, and now I have b to the first times one half, which is b to the one half, which is the same thing as the square root of b. Okay, so now all these things here that didn't end up with the uh, with the fractional exponent, I have two times a squared times uh, b squared. I could just write that right here, and now I have seven to the one half, which is the same thing as the square root of seven, and b to the one half, which is the same thing as the square root of b. I could just write. Um, this product right here under one big radical, seven times b, and there you go. That's that final part right there. Okay, so um, hopefully you understood what's going on here. Again, when you're dealing with uh, simplifying radical expressions, uh, you know, it can be a little bit confusing. But let's take a look at this problem using a different approach, okay? But uh, again, before we leave this, you have to understand rational exponents, right? It's a big part of algebra. All right, let's take a look at another way we can, uh, you know, kind of think about this problem. So I could take this whole radical. Now, before we continue on, if you want to get better at math, you definitely can. But the key is to find a teacher that gives you clear and understandable instruction. So hopefully you like my teaching style. And if you do, if you're like, yes, I think I can learn from you, well, then you will love my full main math courses. So uh, you can find the links to all of these courses in the description, but they include basic math, pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, pre-calculus, and a ton of specialized test prep math courses. Okay, so again, don't give up if you're having a tough time in math. I can definitely help you out. So you can check out the links to all these courses in the description. So let's get back to the video. And I can just split it up, okay? So now I know that, oh, 28 is the same thing as seven times four. So let's uh, uh, split up each of the terms of this prompt. So I'm gonna write this as square root of seven times square root of four, which is gonna be the square root of 28. So I can write these um, factors you know, under their own individual square root. So now I have uh, a to the fourth, so I can write that as uh, the square root of a to the fourth. Okay, I have b to the fifth. Now again, because I'm finding the square root, this uh, odd exponent here, I wanna break that up. Okay, so I'm gonna break it up this way. The square root of b to the fourth times the square root of b, these two together is gonna be the square root of b to the fifth. Okay, but doing it this way is gonna make my life much easier. All right, so what's the square root of seven? Well, that's the square root of seven. What's the square root of four? Well, that's two. What's the square root of a to the fourth? That's a squared, right? So here, if you weren't sure that, oh, the square root of a to the fourth is a squared, well, just square a squared, right? A squared squared is going to be a to the fourth, right? So if you saw or square your answer in a square root, you should get back to your regular answer. So hopefully you can see that. 
the square root of b to the fourth is b squared, and the square root of b is just square root of b. So now I have my two radicals here. The square root of 7 times the square root of b, I can write that right there. And I have all these factors right here. 2 times a squared times b squared. We'll write that in front of that radical. Okay, so if, uh, you know, you're struggling a bit with radical expressions, that's, you know, not uncommon, okay, because they're, you know, kind of a lot of moving parts, especially when you have these odd exponents you're dealing with square roots. But you can have the cube root, different roots. Uh, and this is, you know, I would say this is a pretty basic level problem. But if you need additional help with uh, anything radicals, whether it be simplify radical expressions, uh, solving radical equations, this is a big, huge topic in algebra. So I'm going to definitely suggest, uh, like my Algebra 1 course, if you happen to be in Algebra 2, College Algebra, or even Pre-Calculus, I do teach these concepts in those courses as well. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.